Wise known as loose women. Now, UK tourists who've refused to leave the crisis-hit country of Tunisia have been labelled plucky by one newspaper today. It reports that dozens of British holidaymakers are enjoying gin and tonics by the pools of their hotels, insisting they're not going to have their break ruined. One pensioner, Jim Dunbar from Yorkshire, said, I'm on holiday. No beggar's going to stop me. I'd rather stay here than be in rainy England. Mm. <laughs> so, is the fabled British spirit something to be applauded? What's your most British trait when you're well, away? Actually, I did it. <laughs> what? I was mm. in Cyprus in 1973 when the coup happened. Oh. Yes, and I didn't start it. And the thing is, <laughs> so we, we were shift from Farm Augusta to Limassol, and my cousin lived there, and I was in his flat, and there were machine guns and bombs going off, and I remember saying to my grandma, do we have to go because I've got a new bikini? And I got really... <laughs> and she went, oh, for God's sake! And I got really... Up because we have to leave this torn, worn country. War torn, war torn. War -torn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you also, because I've been away with you, you also do that getting up at three o'clock in the morning and doing that German thing of putting I this, do, the towels. I do, I do. I've got a thing about beds. So, like, you know, I, it's four, then it's five. Don't you hate it, though, when you go down, someone's reserved, like, 30 beds for their family? It's a couple, just two yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. I, but it's all about getting value for money, isn't it, as well? You book your holiday, so you're having it. Yeah, <laughs> and, you're and, you're pay, and you're paid for it. And I read that thing and he said, there were no tanks on street, <laughs> so I'd rather be in here than rainy England. That's true, actually, because the, the people that they spoke to are around 100 miles away from where yeah, the actual exactly. trouble is. And it's, so. it always, and it's funny, we've got, it's value for money and the weather, and we always go away and we always spend the whole holiday going, oh, I wonder what weather's like at home. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you go, it's raining, yeah! <laughs> I love it when Peter Kay does that, when he phones home from the holiday and he's going, right, what's the weather like? It's that fine rain. <laughs> right, let's try this. What I also love about British people, when they go, what are you doing next week? Oh, I'm going on holiday. Somewhere nice. No, actually, I've chosen the most horrible destination <laughs> in the entire that, world. And also that thing to. when you say, where are you from? I'm from Nottingham. I'm from Nottingham! <laughs> you don't know Mrs Brown down at the corner shop, do you? And you just go mad because And the other thing the is, when place. people go back, they're, they're sat there like this and they go, where were we this time last <laughs> week? <laughs> Sitting on the balcony, don't they? Yeah, and whenever, oh whenever us Brits see a plane, like we're in England, I always sit there and I always go, I did it the other day, I went, oh, I'd give anything to be on that. And Paul went to me, it's going to Heathrow! It's landing! Or, like my dad does, is talks in the accent of the person speaking the language. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse you, could you tell me how to get... I go, Dad, you're English! I've got, I've got two phrases that always come out every year wherever I go on holiday, and it's, and and it's a Spanish thing. I always say, hablo usted inglés? <laughs> Which means, can you speak Spanish? And they, of course, go... <laughs> and I go, are we just checking? <laughs> ones that Denise and I had, we <coughs> went to uh, Bangkok and we were at this enormous, <laughs> enormous temple. I mean, so enormous, wasn't it? Yeah. And we got to the very, 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 very top and this girl turned around and said, not on News Women today. talking about British <laughs> British traits abroad it's the queuing thing you know everyone yeah. in Britain queues even you know if you just see two people standing one behind each other they'll join it um, but it's when you're at the, the breakfast queue or the dinner queue if it's if it's like a buffet thing and if somebody butts in the British will just say that's their plate they'll just go like that yeah. and, and see but not and then look at the person behind and go <laughs> but not say a word. And the other thing we always do, whenever you get freebies on holiday, either it's little soaps or it's them little chocolate mints on the pillow, we don't use them when we're there. I know. We put them straight in the case. <laughs> <laughs> Big old bag of Elizabeth Shaw mints for someone at Christmas. <laughs> and the shampoos, sweep them all in, sweep them all in. <laughs> okay.